Okay, I'm uh, Stuart Allison. I'm in the biology department, and I'm the chair, uh, chair of the biology department and the director of the Green Oaks Field Research Station. So, in behind us, we see sort of a prairie burn that's starting to die down a bit, which is okay. And um, Knox started restoring prairie in 1955 with Paul Shepard and George Ward. And ever since then, we've used fire as a management tool to eliminate invasive woody plants and also leads to renewal as we burn the um, prey plants. The ash, as it breaks down, quickly releases nutrients and you get a quick renewal of growth. So we use it as a way to both eliminate plants we don't want and also encourage growth of plants we do. Um, so today we're burning in West Prairie, most of which was planted in the 1960s and 70s by Pete Schramm. Um, so Pete also, you know, continued this use of fire and became really a uh, prairie restoration guru in the state of Illinois. Whenever I go talk to people and say I'm from Knox, everybody asks about Pete. He's quite well known for his restoration work. And we're really just maintaining that here today, and keeping this tradition Knox has had going on for, well, 54 years now, uh, alive. I'm Merrick, I'm a senior, I'm from Salinas, California, and I've never been before because I didn't go my first years because none of my friends had cars, and last year I was abroad. Pretty. <laughs> I'm Brittany Leggins, I'm also a senior, I'm from Mount Vernon, Illinois, and this is also my first time to the Prairie Fire, and it was something I always wanted to go to, but always had a conflict, it was my last chance, so that's... <laughs> Hey, I'm Larissa Roy, kind of the same deal as Brittany. I just hadn't made it out this far yet. I've been to Green Oaks a few times. I love it out here. I hadn't made it out for the giant fire. I don't know why. I'm a senior. I'm from the area, Atlanta, Illinois. This is a good time. <laughs> Uh, two things I think are, are good for the students is one, um, it's just exciting and fun, and we are the Prairie Fire, so there's that. But more important, really, is that um, you know we look at, at our environment is increasingly damaged, and so this is a process of ecological restoration, trying to restore a natural ecosystem and return it to what it once was, or at least close to what it once was. And so having the students participate in that, I think, is good because it engenders a sense of environmental stewardship and um, also, I think, makes them feel more a part of the ecosystem than they would if they didn't participate in this. And yeah, so as you said, people are finding bones. We have deer or raccoon that die sometimes. And so when you burn, you uncover the bones. You know, they've probably been dead a long time. Um, but you just sort of find all sorts of things after a fire. That's a bone. But I really, again, I love how porous you can see how some of these are. Yeah. Um, especially this one. I think it's a sort of tailbone. Is trash. Yeah. Yeah, that's garbage that shouldn't be here in the first place. But Good thing we burned it. <laughs> <laughs> Did we decide that was a. Uh, I'm Bryce Parsons Wesson. I've been at Knox College for three years, and this is my third prairie burn. And um, so the thing that's most different this year, I think, is that um, Tony Gant's sculptures are going up in flames um, that he built last uh, Green Oaks term, so that was last spring, I guess. <laughs> That's, um, I don't know, I love the Prairie Burn because uh, everybody comes out and um, it's great having a bunch of people get together, you know, and fight fire on as a team. And um, I think if, if anyone ever questions the Prairie Fire as the Knox mascot, um, I think this justifies it, you know? Well, 
I'm Chrissy Morse. I'm from Portland, Oregon. I'm a junior at Knox College, majoring in chemistry and secondary education. And when you're coming to the Prairie Burn, you should try to cover as much of your body as possible so that you don't wind up getting infrared radiation from the fire. So what I always wear is a pair of baggy or crappy jeans, um, a long sleeve shirt that I don't particularly care about, and then a bandana on my head to cover my hair, and another bandana so that I can keep the smoke off. And I always bring water, and I like to carabine it to my pants so that I have both of my hands free. Um, when I came as a freshman, I'd already been a Girl Scout for 10 years, so I had a lot of experience with fire and bonfires, but this is definitely the coolest thing that I've ever seen on fire. I come every year and it's one of the highlights of my year.